Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about an AI project called Autonolus. It's actually got like a $35 million market cap. We're gonna get into the stats, the token, all that stuff, but just looking at their Twitter here, it's only got 5,874 followers. Considering the market cap is 35 million on CoinGecko, it kind of makes you wonder what's up there. It does more than help DAOs become autonomous, but it is their stated mission on the website here. DAO operations are slow, and sub DAOs only help so much. DAOs run apps and protocols which are constrained by smart contract limitations, centralization, and liability risks. Autonomous enables developers to help. And that's the first thing I thought was pretty cool about this. DAOs are inherently not that actually decentralized in my opinion, especially when they're running their treasuries and things like that. There's usually a group of people with a multi-sig that are running stuff behind the scenes and they are aiming to make it as automated all this stuff as possible using AI. David Minarsh, I've watched a couple of his videos. He is the, I believe the co-creator or the creator of Aut Autonomous. And there is also, it's being created by Valerie, which I believe he co-founded or founded that one as well. But this is how he positioned it in this video. You've got OpenAI and the AI tools at the bottom. You've got agents like Fetch AI. Then you've got co-owned agents. So agents owned by a DAO is how I'm gathering that with Autonomous. And then he said co-owned AI just in general is the ultimate trophy they're trying to get to, but he mentioned that could take like 10 years. Crypto Distilled has a position like this over on Twitter. Autonomous is the next iteration of Web3 tech. Bitcoin gave us digital ledgers, ETH gave us smart contracts, Link gave us oracles, and Olas gives us autonomous services. It's a framework that plugs AI into everything, is how he describes it. The protocol started out on just ETH, to my understanding, but it is growing. You've got uh, it on Ethereum, Polygon, Gnosis Chain, and I'm not sure if Gnosis Chain is an ETH L2. I don't know much about that. Polygon obviously is, and Solana is its own beast. And fortunately, if you're interested in buying this Olas token, you won't have to necessarily buy it on Ethereum and have to deal with those very, very expensive gas fees. If they aren't that expensive now, in the bull run, when you might look to exit, it's likely that the gas fees are gonna be outrageous, right? So they have an AIP right now, an autonomous improvement proposal to encourage the creation of Olas on Gnosis and Matic. And I didn't see it here for Solana, but I imagine that would be uh, right around the corner if this one goes through. I got a tweet here from People's Optimism CEO, which I love the name, it's positive. We're gonna go through some of the use cases of Autonomous there, but I was chatting with them over in Discord and this was a really, really helpful description, at least for me, for what this does. The big difference between a task that is programmed to execute under certain conditions and an AI agent, and that's what Autonomous aims to have is agents, is that instead of a task, the task can actually be a goal that then requires the AI agent to think about steps or subtasks to accomplish a said goal. So in a nutshell there, it is creating AI agents that can figure stuff out, work together, and try to solve a goal. So it's not like ChatGPT where you prompt it, it gives you an answer and it's done. This, it goes out, looks for answers, and it curates things in order to reach the goal. The way that it is currently being utilized right now, I've got a, a few different things from a, a couple different projects you might have heard, heard of, like CowSwap over on Ethereum. I believe this tries to get rid of MEV. That's just a separate thing though. But Autonomous, uh, it is possible to further decentralize the major components and improve their capabilities. So they use it with uh, watchtowers, I believe. Balancer, it's autonomous fund, smart managed pools, is capable of leveraging AI to automatically add or remove assets and adjust weights on the fly. Omen prediction markets, live predictions powered by GPT-4 on binary markets and real world events. Agents, once minted, and this is the agents that we were just talking about, are represented by non-fungible services on chain. After loading them with an allowance, they can then get to work by searching and wagering on events in real time. So you'd have an AI that is going out there and working these prediction markets for you. 
I'm hoping actually that I can get this person, People's Optimism CEO, onto the channel to have a chat about this because it does seem very interesting. And I already know that's gonna happen because he agreed, so. One question that I really have is what creates the buy pressure for the OLAS token itself? It is a governance token, but if you're not contributing code to get rewarded, if you're just like a passive investor type, uh, like I am, I'm not a developer, I'm not entirely sure what would create that buy pressure. Because to my understanding, if you just hold the OLAS token, there's no you know immediate revenue share kind of thing. I got three Dune dashboards I wanna kinda of walk through. This project does look like it is getting adopted. It's got a $36 million market cap uh, and 42 million circulating supply. However, that is a very small portion, less than 10% of all the tokens that have been minted. Over a 10 year period, the first 10 years, there's going to be a maximum of 1 billion tokens. And this is kind of how it's broken out right now. Circulating supply, like I said, it's a super small amount. You've got the unminted tokens. This is that second half, like 400 and some odd million that aren't in existence yet. Then you've got uh, locked, the governance version of it, the team, Valerie, and a time lock, some, some stuff here. I do believe it is pretty concentrated at the top, although I just, I need to get more clarity on who exactly is holding it. It could be, Protocols, uh, I don't think it's on any centralized exchanges to this point. So this is a this is a unique project. I haven't looked at anything like it before, so I'd need to do more digging on that. Right now, it's got 1,871 holders, and it is filtering out some. So this query shows the amount of OLAS and EOAs and contracts, excluding wallets with less than 0.05 OLAS, so dust, founder member holdings, so Valerie and BU OLAS, Autonomous DAO, holding time lock, and VE uh, OLAS. So that's actually a good description of some of these here. So we've got VE OLAS, which are uh, tied up. Then we've got Valerie, Autonomous Time Lock, which looks like the Autonomous DAO. And then we've got BU OLAS, which looks like the founding team here. And then, yeah, we've got the circulating. Definitely concerning to me, at least, because I don't know that these won't get dumped on the market, there's just no way to really be able to determine that, at least with the information I have right now. But look at these weekly transactions numbers. They are going up. We just had, you know, what is this? 15,269, it's down this week uh, so far at 6,535. But since July, it is really starting to take off. And it's definitely in a noticeable uptrend since August 2022 in terms of number of service agents and components over time. And that's what makes up the AI. It's currently ranked 473 over on CoinGecko at 88 cents. Like we said, it's got that market cap, but look at the fully diluted value. And that's with a max supply of this 531. It Again, it doesn't have a max supply, but in the first 10 years, it's gonna be 1 billion. So really, it's it's much higher. It's more like 880 million FDV if you're assuming those 1 billion are, are the max. And again, that's my main concern, I suppose. It is an early stage product or project, but it's also just these tokens and unlocked and how they're gonna get released. Is it gonna create massive sell pressure on this token, I just don't know. Let me know what you guys think of Autonomous, and if you're curious whether I'm buying it or adding it to my watch list, I do have a Patreon down below that helps support the channel so I can keep making this kind of content. If you're still here, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video.